Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Yeah. I thought you have dressed up. Are you not going for the party? I don't feel like going to any party. 
I just want to spend some time with these children at home during this weekend. Maybe we should send for Bayo. Let him join us this weekend. Maybe tomorrow morning. And we'll spend a lovely time as a family. Well, it's a good idea. But you should have informed me before now. Eh? And that doesn't stop us from attending the party tonight. Edward and Kenny will feel hot if you are not there tonight. I don't feel like going anywhere this night. I want to rest tonight. That's all. Okay. You can stay. How will go? I have an appointment with my friends and we have decided to meet at the party tonight. You mean you will go to that party without me? You will go alone? Yabo, you will go alone to that party without me? What do you expect? Am I a kid? I can't just waste this weekend just like that. I have to be there tonight because I don't want to disappoint those friends of mine. Those friends? Those your lousy friends of yours? Yabo, I suspect those friends of yours. Kule, don't go there. Kule, don't go there. Don't go where? Don't go there and Don't go where? Evening. Look, I said we should spend time as a family this weekend with our children. And you say you want to go to a party. They are going back to school on Sunday. Let's spend time with them before they go back on Sunday. And I'm saying these children are no more kids. They are grown up. They know how to play and relax without us being around them. And I have to be at the party tonight. If you don't go, then I will go alone. Yabo, come back here. Yabo, anyway, come back. What is your problem? Come back here. Kule, hey. what is your problem? Look, Yabo. You must learn to respect your husband's opinion. You are not going anywhere this night. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah. You two must learn how to respect your wife's opinion. the matter again. I thought we were both going together. We didn't go behind again. And what is your problem with that not going to the party? I already told you. My friends are coming. Maya is also coming from the campus. We're having a party in the house tonight. I thought we we're going to have our own party. Now they're both going for their own night party. So what happens now? The man wants to spoil our show. So what do you want to do now? Honestly, I don't know yet. So back to my question. What? What question? Rose, are you really happy with what is happening in this house? Mom and dad partying about and fighting. Your brother on the campus is doing things his parents must not hear about. Do you think that is okay? I have heard enough of your preaching all the time. It's not about any preaching. It's about telling you that there is a better life in Christ. A well meaningful and organized one. A life. I said, I do not need your sermon. You were brought into this house to work for us and not to preach to us. That's the point. <laughs> Part of my work is to talk about Christ wherever I am. So I'm doing the work the Lord has brought me into this house to do. That is where you've missed it. It wasn't God who employed it here, it was my parents who employed it here. So you better stop bringing to us and do your job.
slept here. No, not really. What about you, Rose? Aren't you not going to sleep? But Daddy, why didn't you go with her? Why did you allow her going on? With who? Mom, why did you allow Mom to go to the party alone? You know? Because I didn't feel like going to any party this weekend. Uh-uh. Why? Because I want to spend some time with my family. I want us to stay together as at home as a family. That's why I asked you to call by your so you will join us tomorrow morning. Oh, don't you like that? <laughs> Dad, it's good, bro. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But Dad, we're not kids anymore. And besides, we're already used to your lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle is that? But Dad, we're already used to staying at home alone. Why you go out partying with friends during the weekend? I see. It means you don't appreciate my being at home. Not that, not that. I just want us to be together as a family, that's all. Daddy, Bayo is on his way with his friends from the campus. And you might not like to be disturbed. You mean Bayo is coming home this night? Mm. Why is Bayo coming home this night? Mm. This is 1035. What for? Rose, yes, sir? why is Bayo coming home this night? I'm expecting him tomorrow morning, not this night. No, he's coming for, for, for a night party with his friends. And they're already on their way. You may not like to be disturbed, sir. Night party? With who? And where? That they are friends here yeah, in this house. Night party? Yes, Daddy. Rose. Yes, Daddy. It's just 10.35. Go and call them. Tell them. Oh, Daddy, uh, they can still go to their houses. Mm. They can turn back. Because okay. I'm not entertaining any night party Daddy, in this house Daddy, tonight. Daddy, Daddy no, they're no. already on their way. No, Daddy, no. they're already... Oh, they're here. Daddy, Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, Daddy please. Daddy, please. Daddy, you just endure us for tonight. Just for tonight, please. Daddy, just for tonight.
Hello, baby. Hi. I'm too little, but you could call me Tolly for sure. The last time I came to see Bayo, you opened the door. And ever since then, I've been having nice and wonderful dreams about you. If I may ask, what's your name? Well, I've done my assignment and I know very much that your Wuraula, what a beautiful name for you, beautiful lady like you. Now that you know, what can I do for you? Because as you can see, I'm a very busy person. Yes, I get that statement a lot from girls on campus, busy person, busy person. But eventually, I get them. Just like I know I'll definitely get you. Can you be my friend? I am everybody's friend. No, I mean real close friends. Fama asks, do you have any free time? And what if I do? Uh, I'd love to take you for lunch and probably see a movie there about. Sorry, I'm not the type. What do you mean you're not the type? Hello, I'm a final year student with prestige university. And a student of international relations. Not talk about the fact that you are now smith, serving in my friend's father's house. I might be a ordinary housemaid, but I have a better status than being an ordinary housemaid. I am a child of God, a member of the heavenly royal family, a new generation, a peculiar people, and a completely new creature. Are you sure? I'm guided by a constitution of heaven. In my father's kingdom, it is ungodly to engage in anything sinful. It is just like crucifying Jesus Christ to the cross the second time. And once I've given my life to Christ, I can't go back to doing what I've already renounced. You know what? No, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking What's the meaning of what you're doing? Just Are you all right? Just... What? You just slapped my face. I'm sorry I did that. It's rubbish. It's but I don't tolerate men doing that to me. I'm sorry I did that.
Put some of this in your life. I can't believe that they're this. But Dad, we're all friends. You mean those hooligans and ruffians are your friends? Huh? Is this what you people do whenever we're not at home? Is this? No, Dad. It's just that our house has to be the next place for this weekend's start. Rose! You mean you actually follow them every weekend to parties? Not really, Dad. Dad, we are sorry, but, but they are friends. Daddy, please excuse me. Please, sorry, excuse me, sir. of all this. What's going on here? Your children are having a night party with their friends. Anything wrong with that? <laughs> and you cannot stop them, Kule. This is unbelievable. You lock yourself inside here, leaving them alone to destroy their lives. What type of a father are you? A father who cannot control his wife. Obviously will not be able to control his children. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Yabo. Yabo. See what your children are turning into. I told you that we are not spending enough time with these children. That we should set apart this weekend and spend more time with them. What did you tell me? Uh, yeah, only enough to take care of yourself. And you went for a party. What do you expect me to do, Yabo? What do you expect me to do? To take a cane and begin to flog them when they are following your own footsteps? I don't have time for your stories. And where are you going? So drive them out of this. Uh, Yabu, you better be careful. You, you, you better respect yourself. Otherwise, you will just disgrace yourself. Because mm. they are already drunk. Kunli, your son is drunk. And you said I should leave him alone. Are you in your right senses? Even drunk, eh? Hey? Not really, mom. You came from the campus with your friends to host them in a night party, eh? Hey? Uh, mom, 
It's just that it's my turn to host them. That's all. We should be done in a couple of hours. Latest by midnight. We should be done. You are wrong. You are very wrong because now they are living here. Right now they are living. I don't want to see anyone in that living room in the next five minutes. But mom, that's impossible. I can't just drive my friends out of here. They didn't do that to me in their own house too. Bayo, if I come downstairs in the next five minutes and I find anyone in that living room, I will disgrace all of you. But, but mom, you, you can't do that to us. You can't. You can't do that to us. If you drive us out of here, we will go somewhere else and hold the party. So tell me, which one do you prefer? You are crazy. Very crazy. Were you sent to the university to go and be holding parties? Huh? Mom, what is the problem with holding parties? You have taken us to parties many times. And you have left us at home and gone to night parties. In fact, you are just coming from a night party for heaven's sake. So tell me, why, why can't I just have fun? Why can't... You don't talk to me like that. I am your mother. We are no longer needed here. Oh, wow. In your own house. Oh, wow. Let's go for your own time. When did you And now that you have successfully driven them out of the house, has that solved the matter on ground? Stop talking to me. If you have stopped them before I came back, will I have done what you are supposed to do? Eh? And what was I supposed to do that I did not do? Are you not a coward? Hey, you saw your son holding that party in your very presence, in your house. And you, you, you lock yourself indoors like a chicken unable to stop them eh? and drive them out of the living room. Yabo, you have refused to face the reality on the ground. Didn't you hear when Bayo told you that even if you drove them out of the house, they are going somewhere else to have their party? Stop talking to me. Honestly, Ola, I must confess to you. 
I felt so ashamed of myself when I saw the way my children were behaving and the kind of friends they kept. Oh. Well, to me, I must really conf confess that I commend your efforts. Your patience, I mean. You have really tried. And that to me is wisdom. What would I have done? Would I have sent them out of the house that night? I would have just ridiculed myself mm. because they would have simply left here and gone somewhere else for the party. Mm. Imagine my daughter telling me that I should endure with them for that night, oh. that it was their own turn for the party. Oh, oh no, nah, it was terrible. <laughs> so what do you plan to do now? Uh, have you planned to call them for discussion and correction? When I think of the attitude of my wife and the way both of us have behaved in their presence, I doubt if these children will respect anything we have to say. Whatever. To me, it is still your duty to correct them. You really have to sit your wife down, call both of them and talk some sense into them. The way they are going is really bad. And it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. <sighs> we will try. We will try. Huh? the audacity to bring your friend into this house. Who do you think you are anyway? Hmm? I'm very sorry, ma. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. I just pity you. I pity you. You better wait for your time. Because you are still young for all this nonsense you are doing. Hmm? Kunle, you are too quiet for my liking. Talk sense into these children. Mm, well, that's okay. That's okay, dear. That's all right. That's all right. Now, um, you see, look here, Bayo. It's not as if I'm against you having fun and enjoying yourself. But you see, I don't like the way those girls were frolicking around you. I mean, you are not supposed to be. That is not the issue. Stop being apologetic. So you are giving him express permission to have fun, right? Huh? That is not what I'm saying. And will you keep quiet and let me do the talking? And will you stop being apologetic and talk sense into these children? Huh? How will I talk sense into them when you, the mother who gave birth to them, is not setting good example for them to follow? Excuse us. <laughs> Feeling ashamed to, to wash your dirty linen before your children, eh? I've never seen a shameless man like you, Kule. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You will learn to live with one. Ah, <laughs> your son was drunk in this house. And he was talking rudely to me in the process. Your daughter was rolling a buttock among these senseless and useless boys and all you could do was to lock yourself indoor shaking like a chicken in the rain coolly ha huh? yabo it is all your fault hmm? i ordered you not to go to that party you disobeyed me and went you came back found your children having a party can't you see they have traces of your stubbornness and arrogance running in their genes and their blood I won't stay here to listen to this trash and nonsense you are saying. Mm -hmm. Come back here and listen to me! Ah! Stop on, woman! Ah! Jimmy, babe, what's up? We didn't see you. Hope there's no problem. Jimmy, I need your help. Um, yeah. I think Dele is too close to me. He didn't come for the party and he has refused to pick my calls. 
I think he's getting too possessive. He saw another guy's love text message on my phone. And he didn't even give me a chance to explain at all. What's his problem? Please help me talk to him. When I was like you, I was not even thinking of working with boys. You are in part one in the university, for God's sake. Rose, you are still supposed to face your studies. Working with boys has nothing to do with my studies. I still face my studies. Uh -uh. What's wrong with you? I'm talking and you are working out for me. Is something wrong with your head? Who is Dele? Who sent you love text messages? Mom, wasn't I enjoying some privacy in this house? You're dropping on my conversation. You've not answered my question. Who is Dele? Dele is one of my friends on campus. When has it become a crime to have a male friend on campus? I told you, don't walk out on me. Mom, you can't just slap me for having male friends in this school. You are still young to have boyfriends. You two have men friends, Mom. What? I'm sorry, Mom. What did I hear you say? You said that to me? I'm sorry, Mommy. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Your friend is outside with his wife. Ah, all the other. Our lady uh, evangelist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Actually, there's nothing much. We just said to pay you people a special visit. Wow. And then besides, she has a very important invitation for both of you. Uh, <laughs> of course, I can trust Mommy Tokwe. She always goes around inviting people for special programs. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you've done a lot of work. You've changed my friend. You've influenced him. Changed? How do you mean? <laughs> Uncle, you have changed. Oh? Yes, because we don't always ask for your favorite beer anytime you're in our house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I didn't notice that, you know. Wow. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, my dear? God is actually answering your prayers. <laughs> anyway, we thank God for everything. Thing. <laughs> my prayer is that we all change for the better in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 And still, we need Jesus to help us. Mm -hmm. He alone can transform a man and give him a brand new life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You see, because the man I have in my house hmm, need a complete brand new life. If God could just work on him, this house will witness a new beginning. See who is talking. See who is talking. Hola, you are very lucky that you don't have a stubborn and nagging wife like this. Come on. Come on, be a man. You can talk to your wife like that. Oh, this one. He doesn't know how to treat a woman with respect and honor. <laughs> I do. I really do. I know where my respect is appreciated. And I know where to place it. Do you hear him? I've been saying it in this house. He's having an affair, but no one seems oh, to believe me. Mommy, by you. I stop this. 
This is not the right way to address your husband. He's your head. Huh? I reject bad head. Uh -uh. This one? Yes. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh -uh. You see? You see her? Look at her. No respect for her head. No wonder she has no direction. Eh? Uh -huh. No direction. Uh -huh. Because she does not have any ears to listen. Uh -huh. And she has no eyes to see. You have to stop this, Kunle. You have to stop this. Come on, why are both of you raising so much dust in this house? Yes. This is not right. It is not. Ah, anyway, stop this. We are actually here to invite you for a family program. Yeah. A church program. Mm. Mm -hmm. This week is our family week. Okay. And our church has organized a series of programs to last the whole weekend, starting from Friday. A man of God has been invited from the north. Yeah. He has a fantastic anointed ministry for homes. Mm. Yeah. So that's why we are here. To invite your family. This Friday, you say? Yes. It's an old weekend program. Anyway, my Friday is the feast already. We will have come. If it is... We will attend. Okay, please try and do. We will attend. We yes. Will attend. He needs to attend. Because he needs all the transformation he can get from men of God. Mommy, you buy your... You need Jesus in this house. And you need... Peace in your heart. I have an appointment on Friday. What appointment? What appointment? Tell them what appointment. She's not going anywhere. She has no appointment. Well, the only appointment she might have is maybe a social gathering. Party. Party. <laughs> anyway, I won't sit down here and listen to your insults. Oh. Please excuse me. Oh. Black. Where are you going to? Kule, aren't you fed up with this kind of rancor in your family? I told you, be a man. Uh, my dear, when did you say the program is? The whole weekend. Then you have to wait for me. Like uh, 30 minutes. Are you there with your car? Okay. See you later. Bye. Mom? Oh, nice. Are you going out again tonight? Yes. Are you have a problem with that? No, I don't. When daddy comes, his food. Ah, I prepared the food. I've cooked the rice, fried the plantain, so you serve it, okay? I think he's here. You serve him. You know where the food is. Oh, you're welcome, dear. Oh, yes. Thank you. How are you? How was it? I'm fine. Good. So, I hope you're not going out. I'm going out, but I've prepared your food. The roast will serve you. Come, 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 come. Let's see. Let's see. I want you to serve me. I don't want to miss Auntie Miriam's appointment. She wanted me to follow her to greet her cousin. What is it with Auntie Moyeni's cousin? The guy just arrived from her in Canada. So, how was the service? Well, that was my greatest regret. I knew you'd be disappointed at the program. Was it one of these uh, cash and carry church programs? Hmm? Always demanding for donations? Tight and offering, mission support, and so on and so forth. No, no, it was not any of those. In fact, I regretted that you didn't follow me. So that we could be enslaved together? I've passed that religious manipulation. I'm a free person now. Oh! I don't think it's right for you to leave your husband very hungry without giving him something to eat. I've done all I need to do. 
I've cooked your food. Preserve it in the woman. Your daughter will serve you. Or is she a stranger? No. I want you to serve me. I want you to stay with me this evening. You are not going out. That's an order. <laughs> On whose authority, if I may ask? On your husband's authority. Oh. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. That is 1 Peter 3, verse 1. <laughs> so, is that what you were taught in the program this evening? And you wanted me to follow you, so that I could be related before everyone. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, uh, Yabo, I'm sorry for quoting that uh, Bible verse. Uh, that was not all they taught us. They taught us so many other things. Okay, so, my idea, what were you taught this evening? Well, <clears throat> they taught us to honor and respect our wives, mm -hmm. to treat them like queens. That is better. So, don't forget the Lord's instruction to you this evening. Don't disobey your God. High deserves some honor and respect. See you later. did not come. That was what pained me the most. Mm. How I wish she was there with me. It would have solved a lot of problems. You see, I tried downloading the messages I had to her, mm. but she could not understand. She misunderstood every move I made. Even what the minister suggested I do, I tried to do. <laughs> but guess what? She was just making jest of me. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? You know, I'm so happy that you came. I'm happy you attended the meeting and that you were blessed. Leave the rest to God. Don't worry. Leave the rest to God, He will perfect everything. I believe so. Hmm. I believe so. Hmm. I'm really challenged by your new life. Me? Yes. That was why yesterday I was thinking about the message that I had. And I thought about my entire life. Mm. That's why I decided to give it to him. Give what? To who? Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus. What? You did? Oh, great! Congratulations! <laughs> you did that? Yes. Congrats. I'm so happy for you. Oh. I want the joy and peace that you have. Oh, that's a very good thing you did. You see, it's the wisest decision you will ever make. That joy and peace you talked about will now become yours. They will begin to flood your heart. Welcome into Christ. <laughs> I'm so glad. I must tell you, mm. it was your life that drew me to Christ. Oh, yes. Oh. To God be the glory. Yeah. That's interesting, you know. Honestly, I had always desired to tell you my experience. But I felt the restraint from God telling me that the time was not ripe yet. Mm. The Lord told me that you will begin to see the fruit. And you know the Bible says, by their fruits you shall know them. Mm. Really? Yeah. That was wisdom. <laughs> Don't worry, 
Now that you have taken the decision as the head of the home, you should leave the rest to God. Mm. She also will come to the light of Christ. And that very soon. But you just have to be patient, very patient with her. Okay? She's very stubborn and arrogant. <laughs> and she's full of pride, that is it. <laughs> My friend, you see, the Lord will wash away that when she comes into Christ. But you must do everything within your power to encourage her. You must be very patient with her. Okay? You must be very, very patient till she makes that decision. You must never, ever discourage her. Then the joy and peace of the Lord will flush your home. Okay? I'll try. I will try. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Now, let me try. last night after our family devotion that we will all go to church this morning as a family. You said that to your children, not to me. I wasn't at your family devotion yesterday night. Besides, I didn't even promise I would follow you to church, did I? Biabo, huh? yeah, why are you behaving like this? What is your problem, Only. Hmm? Is it by force? Was you force me to do what I'm not ready to do? Even in Nigeria today, everybody is free to practice any religion he likes. So what is your stress, Kunle? Mm. Yeah, boy. Listen, this is where I choose to hold my own service this morning. For some, they may decide to hold their own in the clubhouse. You don't even thank God I'm not in that group. At least I'm still in my house. Bye. where were you last night? You did not join us at the family devotion. You came back at a quarter past eleven yesterday. Where were you? Um, d Dad, I, I was in a friend's house. By that time? Doing what? Uh, uh, why all these questions? He said he was in his friend's house. Is he a kid? Do you even know when they sleep in their hostel? Twelve midnight. At times two o'clock in the morning. So what's the stress? What's your problem? Hey, Yabo, will you shut up and let me talk to my son? It's my son too. Stop shouting at me. Look here, young man. I will not tolerate that sort of nonsense again in this house. If you want to remain in my house, you must do whatever I tell you to do. Is that understood? Uh, uh, Dad, I'm sorry. I called to inform mommy. That's all right. Now, both of you, go and get dressed. You are following me to church this morning. Get ready in the next 10 minutes. I'll be waiting for you. But Dad, I've not had my bath. Did you not hear when I told you yesterday that you were following me to church this morning? No excuse. So go and get ready. Fast. I'm waiting for you. But why do you have to force these children to do things against their wish? Because it is my duty as their father to tell them to do the right things. My Bible tells me, train up a child in the way they should go. So you think there are small children you can force to do things against their wish? My friend, it's too late. It's not too late, Yabo. If God could have mercy on me, it's not too late for them. And it will not be late for you also to join us. God forbid, I reject slavery. <laughs> Yabo, you don't understand something. Look, 
if these children are playing at home during school hours, you would be the first person to drive them to go back to school. Because they must not play with their education. Why? Because that is their life, their future, and destiny. Oh. Education is the best inheritance you can leave for a child. Good. Now, look at it this way. We spend so much money, time and resources in making sure that our children go to the best schools because we want to build a future for them. But we don't spend time and money and resources on their moral education. I see nothing wrong with their moral lives. Is that so? Look at Bayo. He's gradually turning to be a drunkard. He drinks. He smokes. See how ladies swarm around him. Where is the future we are building when there is no moral life to support it? What will become of their soul at the end when they appear before God? My dear, we are just like that man who builds his house on a heap of sand because it will eventually crumble. Dad, we are set. Where is Rose? Um, she said to, she's putting on her shoes. <laughs> See, he's going to church. See the dress you are wearing to church. They will drive you out of the church. You don't even cover your hair. Daddy, am I okay? You are perfect, my dear. Hmm? Look, if the people in church don't understand, Jesus understands. And he will be happy to welcome you just the way you are. Thank you, sir. Now, let us go. My dear. You can still join us. We'll wait. Mommy, now, come on. Let's follow Daddy. Come, let's go. You get alone in the house. Will you please get out of this place? Come on, get out. I know what my wife is planning. She wants to stay at home to cook a beautiful meal for us. A delicious meal. My dear, that wonderful jollof rice, that one with coconut, prepare it for us. Yes, I'm fried plantain. Come on, leave. Go, go. Please, excuse me. Get out and give me peace. Make sure you lock the gates and go with the key. Because I won't come out and open the gates for you. Please. Bye. Okay, mommy. Bye. Get out. you like about the service? Um, I liked the choir. They sang very well. And the pastor's sermon also. What was the sermon all about? Well, the sermon was about foundation for ideal home. Um, give example from the Bible about living the way God wants us as a father, mother and children. He also spoke about one prophet Eli in the Bible who didn't teach his children very well and the fatal consequences. Your father listened attentively. I hope he wasn't sleeping throughout the pastor's sermon. No, mommy wasn't sleeping. We all sat on the same long floor. He also talked about Sarah who gave her husband Abraham the wrong counsel that resulted into terrible consequences till today. Did he say anything about children? Yes, he did. He said the destiny of Dina, the daughter of Jacob, got twisted when she associated with bad company. And you listened attentively to that? Yes, I was. Mom, everybody in the church was just asking after you today. Really? Yeah. Oh, has he not gone to report bad things about me to the church elders? No, mommy. You were just excited to see us and dad. I saw that his friend and his wife from Tope. And I, saw, I also saw Tope among the choir. Mommy, I saw a lot of babes in church today. Mm -hmm. I mean, fine looking babes with well cut out attires and hairdos. Some of them wore six inches high shoes with 
skin skates above their knees. <sighs> Mommy, I like the church. I will go next week. Ah, by you. Was that all you saw in church today? What about the good choir and the pastor's fine sermon? You didn't see all that though? Yeah! I saw Cheetah among the choristers. Cheetah? Who's Cheetah? That light skinned tall girl in the second row. I know her well on campus. She spotted me and gave a faint smile. And when we stood up for prayers, I showed her my Blackberry phone. And instantly she got a message. <laughs> what was the message? <laughs> we were chatting on phone throughout the service. So you didn't hear the pastor Samuel? I heard the pastor talking about Sarah who misled her husband in taking a bad step which has led to a lot of Christian persecutions today. Hmm. What else did the pastor say? That was all I heard. That was all the pastor said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who was sitting close to your dad? Um, I was sitting to the right and Rose on the left, yes. You were chatting through her the service and your father did not notice you. Are you sure he was not dozing when pastor was talking about how prophet Heli misled his sons? Who? Huh? Take this to the table. Wait now. Just wait till you come. Where is your dad? He's coming. Wow. This is marvelous. Did I not tell you guys that my wife was going to prepare a delicious meal for us? <laughs> and staying at home has produced this. I think we should all clap for your mommy. Uh, wait, 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 please. Uh, let's just pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food we're about to eat. We pray that you bless the hands that prepared it, and for all of us that we eat out of it, and bless this food. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 The church service was fantastic today. Mm, it was. It was wonderful. You know, the pastor preached on the foundation of the ideal home. He talked about how Sarah gave her husband wrong counsel. Hmm. Honey. Hmm. I know that is the only thing you will remember of all the sermons given by the pastor. You won't talk about Prophet Heli, who was so weak and a coward like yourself to confront his two children who are living with what lives. Well, there's no way you who slept at home will get the blessing that we got from church. Blessing indeed. Hmm. How am I sure? You are not sleeping throughout the service. Yes, because your son, who was sitting beside you, was busy doing something else throughout the service. Mommy. Shut up your mouth. You went to church to serve God. And all you did throughout was to chat with a lady throughout the service. Well, 
That was why I heard when the pastor was preaching about the wrong counsel that Sarah gave to her husband. And that is what has caused persecution to Christianity up till today. The poor woman had been patient for several years until one day she gave him an evil suggestion. And it is that suggestion that has caused persecution to Christianity even up till today. And so men are so dull in understanding and shallow in wisdom that they can accept any suggestion or advice given by their wives. Even if it is go and marry a mad woman as a second wife. Hmm. One thing is certain. For there to be peace and calmness in this home, that can only happen. And that is for you to give your life to Christ, just as I have done. And what is that supposed to mean? Are you saying I'm the troublesome one in this house? Huh? Mom, let's enjoy this lunch, please. Shut up your mouth! The house cannot to enjoy your food. Even the children can testify to that fact. Testify to what fact? Huh? I said testify to what fact? Yabo. Please, let me eat my food. Not until you tell me what fat this children can testify to. Yabo, you prepared this food for me. Please, let me eat it. If you're going to trust today really have any positive impact on you, eh? where are you going? Sit down and eat your food. Nonsense. Yabo, who did you really prepare this food for? Kule, where are you going? I've lost my appetite. Uh -uh. Is it not just me at table talk? Huh? Uh, Mom, that's unfair. You didn't allow dad to enjoy his meal. Will you keep your mouth shut? By the way, who is talking here? You? Hey, you went to church this morning to serve God and all you did throughout was to fancy all those tall, light-skinned ladies and to chat with your girlfriend in the choir. And you are talking here. I labored to cook your food. You scant through it with your spoon and you push it aside. Is that not disrespectful to your wife? Hmm? I stayed at home to cook good food for my family. You spoilt everything with your uncontrollable hunger. You spoilt your own food with your uncontrollable chattering. Your tongue has no bridle. Hmm? You, 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 you spoilt our lunch time this afternoon. So I lost my appetite. Okay, suit yourself. When you are hit with hurricane hunger, you will know how to sort yourself out. Let me go and finish my delicious meal. You see, you see? Your association with those homeless ladies has made you lose any iota of respect for your husband. You don't even care whether he eats or not. <laughs> when my husband has lost his appetite for food, I do not have an antidote to that sickness. You are the one that is sick. You are the one that is sick. Come on, get out of here and leave me alone. Go and eat your useless food. You see, I even want the type of your home born again. Are you sure you are really born again? Because born again Christians are patient, long suffering, calm, and always honoring their wives. Look, Yabo, 
if all born again Christian wives were like you, I doubt if any one of them will make heaven. <laughs> yeah, because you are a terrible woman. Hmm? Very terrible. Terrible. I wonder what you were looking for when you married me. Hmm? Were you deceived by my exclusive posture or my ravishing beauty? Uh, 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 uh. Who, who lied to you? Who lied to you that you were beautiful? Look, when I married you, you were very ugly, very ugly. Mm -hmm. I was the one who made up my mind that I will work on you. Mm -hmm. That's why you are like this. Way. Exactly what I was saying. That was what I was trying to tell you. What? You said I am a terrible woman. Yes. And I was trying to let you know that you are the one who worked on me and made me who I am today. I wasn't like this when you married me. You made me terrible, my dear. So case closed. Back to my question. What question? Are you sure you are born again? Because your attitude does not reflect a born again Christian. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Huh? I said so many things that a born again child of God should never have said. Uh, why did I say my wife was ugly when I married her? Why did I say she was terrible? Oh no. I shouldn't have said so. I shouldn't have said so. Oh my God. My God. I've messed up. I shouldn't have said that. I mean, my speech is not what is expected of born again Christians.
on the way back. Look, this guy averages double figures at the point position. He doesn't overshoot the basketball. He's extremely feisty and a very good defensive guy. You love players like this as long as they're playing on your team. Terrific on the rotation as Harden was taken down behind the play by Mozgov and the foul call on Timofey. See, everything now will be highlighted. There's no doubt about it. Ya voy, ya voy. Ya voy. Ya voy, ya voy. Ya voy, ya voy. Ya voy. Where is the food? Ya voy. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Yabo. Yabo, please, where's the food? Yabo. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry, please. Yabo. I know I said some things I should not have said. I'm truly sorry, Yabo. Please. Where's the food? You said I'm a terrible woman. No, you're not terrible, Yabo. You're not. You said I was ugly when you married me. Ah, you. Yabo. You were beautiful when I married you. You said I'm a sick person. Ah, ah, Yabo, you know you're not sick. You even said that your parents want you not to marry me. Ah, ah. And you ah, also said... Yabo. When did I say so, Yabo? I never said my parents didn't want me to marry you. Ah, Yabo. I'm sorry, I did not say that. I did not say my parents said I should not marry you. But to say you have lost your appetite. Mm, yes, eh, but I found it now. It has come back. Please, Yabo. Yabo, please, where is the food? Please, please. I'm hungry. Please. Next time, whatever disagreement you have with your wife, never involve a third party. Yabo, but I did not involve any third party. I didn't tell anyone. You did? Who? Yabo. You brought in the matter of food into our disagreement. Ah, Yabo. Yeah. Whatever happens, never you reject your wife's food. It is one of the major rules of holy matrimony that must not be broken. Ah. Yabo, I'm sorry. I did not know. I'm sorry. Please, where is the food? Yabo Demi Yabo Demi Yabo Demi Yabo Demi Follow me Madam Jarrett yes. So Where is the food? Are you okay with this? I'm okay. By the time we get to the venue of the party, all eyes will be on us. And the musician will pause. Because the three delectable ladies are stepping oh, in. <laughs> Let's get a party started. Let's get a party started. Let's get a party started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, so what are we talking about now? 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. The cloth is beautiful, but um, it's a nice fabric. But I don't know if I will have it or not. You say you don't know what? What are you saying? I, I still can't understand you. But we have paid for the one they chose for everybody. And that one should be enough. You hear what you just said? Everybody. We are not in class of everybody. And when we get to party that day, as usual, we'll go in and change to our new classy fabric. And when we're out, the party will blow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. How much are we talking about now? Yeah, it's not so expensive at all. It's just 50,000 naira for five years. So cheap. 50,000k. That's on the high side. We've just paid our children's school fees for God's sake. And, you know, my husband may not even support me to buy this type of cloth at this time. Yeah, but what has gotten into you? Yeah, but has changed. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but this man has finally had his way. Yeah, but wake up. You have your life to live. What is all this nonsense? Please, what else can I do to you? <laughs> See, Yabo, jokes apart. You know, if we have to attend any party, we have to be classy. You understand? It's either we are in the party or not. And Yabo, we've come a long way. We can't allow your husband to just come in and destroy the friendship we've, we've started a long time ago. It's not possible. It cannot. You need to put him where he belongs. Ask him for the money. And if you refuse? Oh dear, you can pay it yourself. And I even have a little candid advice for you. You see, I'm not telling you to be disobedient to your husband. Yeah. But if he wants you to follow him to church, follow him. But please don't follow him into his foolishness. I'm not trying to be rude. No, that's not too bad. We all do sometimes. But when we do, we use our head. Let me tell you something. We all know that when you go to church, they're interested in your offering. And I'll tight. And I am not ready to leave and lavish my hand many on any offering boxes of any church. Anyways, it's okay. All this gist is too much. <laughs> yeah, but where should I come for the money? Or should I just drop this? So, how much did they place on this one? They said it's um, 50,000 for the five years. Hmm? 50,000 what? 50,000 Naira? On this piece of fabric? 50,000 Naira? What sort of prodigality is that? Where do you want me to get that kind of money from? How can you spend 50,000 Naira on a fabric you're just going to wear once for one single occasion, Yabo? Remember we just paid for buy your rose school fees the day before yesterday. I'm not ready to spend that kind of money on a mere fabric that you're just going to wear for one single occasion, Yabo. I keep telling you, Yabo, Yabo, these your friends are bad friends and they will mislead you. Yabo. Stop it. Uh -uh. Come on. What's wrong with you? Have some patience. I'm not saying you come and pay for the cloth. I'm just showing it to you. Period. All right. Okay. I have seen it. Is it good? I want to have it for both of us. It's good. It's good. But I don't think I'm interested in this. I can't imagine myself wearing the same kind of uniform with those friends of yours. Okay, I will have it. No, Yabo, you will not have it. Come on, Kuli. If you don't want it, I want it and I, I want to have it. Yabo, I said you will not have it. Go and return it to your friends. Stop bossing me around, Kuli. You have your whole friend, don't you? 
Have I ever complained about them? Ah, not that I fully agree with all what they are doing, but ah, I've not seen any reason for me to separate myself from them yet. Yabo, you will not take this clothes. Go and return this fabric to your friends. If you don't want it, I want it and I like it. Look, Yabo, you must learn to submit to your husband's authority. And you too must learn to respect your wife's opinion. Kule, you are too irrational. You are not patient enough. Actually, my brother, Rakuni, there is nothing wrong with your wife. Sir, <laughs> you don't know my wife. She's so proud and arrogant. She's full of herself. And she's controlled mainly by some set of women she calls her friends. Yes, I know. What I mean is that you can still win her over. You can win her from them. All you need to do is to cooperate with God. Sir, uh, if I understand you, you said I can win my wife from those friends. How? What I'm saying is that you just have to cooperate with God and then you leave the rest for God. God will handle the rest. Sir, I've been trying my best. It's just that everything I do, my wife does not appreciate it at all. It is not about trying your best. It is about doing exactly what God wants you to do in obeying God's instructions. Obeying God's instructions as a as husband and as a father in the house. Okay, sir. I'm listening to you, sir. Okay, for example, the Bible says, Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Did you try that? Have you been able to um, actually really love your wife the way God expects you to love her? Now, Brackenley, look at the comparison of the love. The love of Christ to the church. The love expected of you to your wife. Have you been able to attain half of that? Okay. So pray, my brother. Pray for grace to enable you to be able to play your role in the life of your wife. Because when you obey God's instruction, you are inviting God into the situation of your life and of your home. But first of all, you have to Humble yourself before the Lord and come down from the seat of the chairman you occupy and bring yourself down before the Lord. So you remember, Christ uh, came down from his glory into this world to save us from the world of sin. He paid a great price in order to win us unto himself. So, you must be ready to bring yourself down to the level of your wife and love her deeply, irrespective of her fault and mistakes. Then, God will give you understanding and knowledge to undo her and to work with her. 
Okay, sir. I, I, I will try my best. I will try. I will try. So, my brother, you have the power and the anointing to do this because the Spirit of God is upon you. And the anointing upon you must flow downward towards your wife. Because that is how God planned it. And, there is, and the Lord God will fill you with great testimony. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. You're welcome. Ah, Lord. Hey, <laughs> God. Lord, I know I have messed up. Ah, I know, I know, I know, I know I have messed up. I have messed up. God forgive me. Lord have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Hey Lord, give me the patience. Give me the wisdom to handle my wife. Teach me to handle my wife. Teach me to handle my wife. Ah Lord. 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 Ah. Let me love my wife. Let me love my wife. Teach me how to love my wife as Christ loves the church and gave himself up for her. Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, let me be the head I should be so that the anointing will flow from my head to my wife. Let her understand what she needs to understand. Let her understand what I understand. Lord, let there be unity in our home. Let there be love, peace, calm all the storm and strife in our home. Lord, 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 have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on me. Oh Lord, ah, Lord. Yeah, my dear. Thank you. Now, let's propose this to, to happy days. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> dear. Yeah. I notice some of their friends no longer come here. The Lord will feed them out one by one in Jesus' name. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why? Uh, they bad influence on them. Those friends are terrible. They have a terrible lifestyle. You are right. I saw one of them smoking. Last time they came here. Imagine such audacity. Ah. The Lord will deliver by you from all those friends by fire, by force, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are gradually becoming a pastor, dear. Ah. <laughs> and you are becoming a pastor's wife, too. God forbid. With <laughs> God, nothing is impossible. You better stop this. Oh. Is it because I'm following you to church? No. Just because I just want to obey you and because of the children. <laughs> Father, I thank you for my wonderful, virtuous wife, Iyabo. You know you're a wonderful woman. And I thank God for you. Oh. That's why I love you so much. <laughs> Yavo, I love you very much. <laughs> what of your friend, Folake? Oh, Folake? Folake is still around. She has postponed the journey again. Why? Oh, those ladies. They can do crazy things at times. <laughs> oh. ah, ah, ah. What about her husband and children? Oh, well, they are there. She postponed the journey because of another party of a friend's sister mm -hmm. who is getting married. <laughs> uh, I don't think that your friend needs a husband. Though. Why? Men. <laughs> Thank God for Christ. Because men cannot be trusted that much. Even when the wife is around 24-7, you can't trust men. And you now leave your husband in London, come to Nigeria, and you are... Uh, <laughs> you better talk to her. I don't know what is wrong with Falakio. Uh, well, anyway, let's forget that. Uh, but you said they were here. What did they come and do? <laughs> As usual now, our normal uniform. Uh -huh. But this time around, it's just 45k. 45,000 naira? Yeah. 
But my dear, you have so many clothes in your wardrobe. Why not pick one of them and use for the occasion? That's not our style. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you given them the money now? I'm waiting for you, of course. Oh. Ah, remember I gave Bayou and Rose some money yesterday for their assignments and their upkeep in school. Ah, my dear. I'm just joking. Yeah. Even if you have the money, I won't buy the clothes. I won't take it from them. I've made my stand clear to them. Really? Oh. And you told them that? To their face, of course. Oh. They even wanted to drop the clothes. But I refused. I told them I will see them later. Really? Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do now? We can't continue living like that there. Or what do you think? That's no life. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> You've really surprised me. Uh, what? You've spent much more than that before on clothes. Well, maybe, but... <sighs> One must not continue living like that. That's no life. Yeah, you're right. We can't continue like that. Huh? What? Hey. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> hey, I found God. Ah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> This is. Yeah. Why are you not sleeping? What's the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking over a matter. What is it? Don't let me disturb your rest. No. Come on. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, never mind. Tell me, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about my friends. What is wrong with them? Nothing bad, really. But I'm finding it difficult to flow with them. And at the same time, I'm not ready to part with them. I, I... I, I can't do without them. They are part of my life. I don't even know what is wrong with me. Kule, what do you think I should do? I can't leave them. But dear, tell me, who exactly is asking you to leave your friends? You mean, who? Yes. I want to know that person. <laughs> you were once again this friendship. But you never frowned at it. Mm, that's right, that's right. Um, now tell me, what exactly is the problem? It's just that I'm not okay with them. And I don't like it. I, do, I don't know why. I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I still want them around me. I still love them. I can't do without them. Mm. Now I understand. What? Mm. Uh, let me explain to you. 
You see, there is a place like that in the Bible. And that is where Paul was saying that the things that he wanted to do, he was not able to do them. And so he cried for help. And you know what? He got that help. Who helped him? The Lord Jesus Christ gave him the strength to do the right thing. My dear, you see, I realized that. Um, You've been following me to church for some time now, just to maintain peace in the home. But I think at this time, this is a time where you really need to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is. And he's waiting for you. He's ready to help you to do the right thing. I don't want to lose my I can't part with them. Ah, and I didn't want to go deep into this religious stuff. Oh God. Yeah, but I can't leave them. I can't I can't, I can't leave my friends. Yeah, but if you die today, your friends will leave you and they will move ahead with their lives. What did you just say? You heard me. After Jesus, I'm the most important person you need. I am more important to you than your friends. Oh God, help me. Help me. Yes, How yes. Are you? <laughs> I just said to hear your voice again. How are you? And how is Yabo and the children? Ah, they are fine, they are fine. Uh, Bayou and Rose told me they Yes, were actually, I met them in the house. And um, how is work? Well, we are fine, we are fine, fine. Now, listen. Wala, it seems something strange and really pleasant has been happening in my house recently. Eh. Hey. Ah. What is that? I need you to intensify your prayers. Please, tell Mama Tokwe for me. It seems as if that the Lord has been touching my wife. Oh, okay. That's good then. That's good news. Since I ever knew my wife, for the first time, she actually disagreed with those her friends. Oh, you mean those ladies? Yes! She disagreed. And I know God is working something out. Ah, oh, yes. Surely it's of God. And I am sure my God 
will complete what he has already started, okay? Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Yabo, is it true you won't be attending the party? Talk now. Oh, you can't talk. Mm -hmm. Boss, I didn't hear you right, right? Well, it is true. I, I, <clears throat> I said I may not be able to attend the party. You said what? But I will come to the normal wedding service and I will attend the reception. You can't do that, Yabo. You can't do that. We have to attend this party together. Don't you get it? Okay, okay, I understand. Is it the Ashwebi money? Have paid. What else? People, people, speak your mind. Tell her your mind. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I've made up my mind not to, not to attend the party. What nonsense! Yabo, can you hear yourself speak? What's all this rubbish? Do you know how to, I had to postpone my travel because of you? What's all this? I, I, I don't get all this, I don't get it! Just get off my phone, get off my phone! Nonsense! Can you imagine? Oh my God! <gasps> Good. Good. You know, you need to be strong in times like this. You need to be courageous. What did she say? She was very furious. She insisted I follow them to the party. So, what are you going to do? I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? I, I'm confused and I'm afraid. Afraid and confused? Now, that is not your spirit. What makes you think like that about me? I'm serious. I'm afraid. And I'm confused. And I say no. That that is not your spirit. Okay, okay. That is not my spirit. Yes. Okay. Because the word of God says he has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. I was a witness to that spirit you received the other day that you asked him for help. Kuli, <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> and I pray I will be strong like you in faith. You are, my dear. You are already strong. Because we are one. The Bible says, Whatsoever God has joined together, let no friend, worldly friendship, put asunder. Oh. Yabo, I love you. I love you too. And I really thank you and I appreciate you for standing by me. Come on, Yabo. What are friends for? Friend? Yes. <laughs> Yabo, I am your only true and authentic friend. All your other worldly friends, mm -hmm. they are fake and counterfeit. <laughs> I am your true friend, Yabo. Thank you.
ear, but you messed up. You messed up, seriously. You threatened you were not coming for that party and you didn't show up. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about what? I'm sure is that your husband, that Kule guy. Leave my husband out of this. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sorry to have disappointed you. We can't continue living like this. We are not getting any younger. We have children who are watching our steps. The future of these children are in our hands. And the home God has given us to build. Yabo! What is wrong with you? You, Polake. What? Who? You left your husband and children. For what reason? You left them in London. Why? For what reason? Enjoyment. Freedom. I advise you to go back fast. If you still need that man in your life. Ladies, we need Jesus in our lives. Only him can help us. We need him. As for me, I've decided to obey him. I will not be able to stay here long with you. You know, we are having special family prayer. So thanks for coming. Sweetheart. Unbelievable. I can't believe my eyes. For like I so value my husband, I should go back. What is wrong with you? Do I blame you? What do you know? What does a divorcee like you know? Falake, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? Did I stop you from going? Was I the one that changed your flight ticket? Oh, if you so value your husband and son, then go back. What are you doing here? You're so right. You know, I value my husband and my son. So stop the car. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just joking. I'm sorry. Bosse, stop this car. It was just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Bosse, stop this car right now. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Stop this car right oh. now. Okay, 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 okay. I'll stop. I'll stop.
Hello. Here, bo. Thanks for the other day. Your words were so direct to me especially. And I was so touched. I'm making arrangements to go back to London as you have warned me. And I thank God I obeyed you. Please, pray for me and my husband. I strongly desire to have what you've got. I want my home to be on the rock. Please, uh, help me tell your husband I'm sorry. Love you both.